Hi, welcome back to Amen, Amen, I Say to You. I'm John Paul Cashmere. Today we will be saying the chaplet of St. Benedict of Nursia. There he is. One of the most popular and well-known saints. I'll read you just a little bit about him. Born in 480 AD and died in 547, he had a twin sister, St. Scholastica. They were born to a Roman, Roman nobleman and his wife in Nursia, Italy. He spent his childhood with his parents in Rome. As a young man, he found in himself a strong desire to escape the trifling things of the world and serve God. He left his family and wealth and settled in the mountain region of Subiaco. After three years living in solitude as a cave-dwelling dwelling hermit, he was asked to lead a monastery in the place of an abbot who had died. Benedict did as they asked, but his way of life was too extreme for the monks, and they tried to poison him. He thwarted their evil designs by blessing the poisoned cup, rendering it ineffective. Benedict returned to his cave, where news of his sanctity and miracles began to spread. Soon a community of men surrounded him, wanting to adopt his way of life. <laughs> to house them, Benedict established 12 monasteries, including the world-famous Monte Cassino, and gave them a rule of life to live by, known as the Rule of St. Benedict. His rule, which is still observed today by the Benedictines, helped form the civilization and culture of Europe. Because of the organization, structure, and discipline he brought to the monastic life, He's known as the founder of Western monasticism. He's the patron saint of monks, students, farmers, Europe, and more. He's also especially known for his intercession against poison, temptations, and witchcraft. His feast day in the Latin rite is July 11th, but the Benedictines celebrate his feast on March 21st. So obviously you can say this any day, since today is his feast day and this is quite a nice chaplet as well so we have the cross here we have a saint benedict centerpiece and then we have these black we have seven black uh, beads in each of the four decades and they're separated by this metal saint benedict so in the name of the father and the son and the holy spirit amen on the crucifix Gracious and Holy Father, give us the wisdom to discover you, the intelligence to understand you, the diligence to seek after you, the patience to wait for you, eyes to behold you, a heart to meditate upon you, and a life to proclaim you. Through the power of the Spirit of Jesus our Lord. Amen. On the first single bead, pray, God our Father, in your goodness, grant me the intellect to comprehend you, the perception to discern you, and the reason to appreciate you. Now on the seven, each of the seven beads, there's a separate prayer. On the first bead we pray, on the first seven beads we pray the same prayer. So there's four different prayers. Okay. Teach me to walk in your ways, O Lord, with the gospel as my guide. Teach me to walk in your ways, O Lord, with the gospel as my guide. Teach me to walk in your ways, O Lord, with the gospel as my guide. Teach me to walk in your ways, O Lord, with the gospel as my guide. Teach me to walk in your ways, O Lord, with the gospel as my guide. Teach me to walk in your ways, O Lord, with the gospel as my guide. Teach me to walk in your ways, O Lord, with the gospel as my guide. On the second single bead, in your kindness, endow me with the intelligence to look for you, the wisdom to discover you, and the spirit to apprehend you. May your holy cross be my light. May Satan never be my guide. May your holy cross be my light. May Satan never be my guide. May your holy cross be my light. May Satan never be my guide. May your holy cross be my light. May Satan never be your guide. May your holy cross be my light. May Satan never be my guide. May the holy may your holy cross be my light. May Satan never be my guide. May your holy cross be my light. May Satan never be my guide. On the next single bead, in your graciousness, bestow on me a heart to contemplate you, ears to hear you, eyes to see you, and a tongue to speak of you. May I be strengthened by your presence, O Lord, at the hour of death. 
May I be strengthened by your presence, O Lord, at the hour of my death. May I be strengthened by your presence, O Lord, at the hour of death. May I be strengthened by your presence, O Lord, at the hour of death. May I be strengthened by your presence, O Lord, at the hour of death. May I be strengthened by your presence, O Lord, at the hour of death. May I be strengthened by your presence, O Lord, at the hour of death. In your mercy, confer on me a conversation pleasing to you, the patience to wait for you, and the perseverance to long for you. Be gone, Satan, never tempt me with your vanities, for what you offer is evil. Be gone, Satan, never tempt me with your vanities, for what you offer is evil. Be gone, Satan, never tempt me with your vanities, for what you offer is evil. Be gone, Satan, never tempt me with your vanities, for what you offer is evil. Be gone, Satan, never tempt me with your vanities, for what you offer is evil. Be gone, Satan, never tempt me with your vanities, for what you offer is evil. Be gone, Satan, never tempt me with your vanities, for what you offer is evil. And our closing prayer, grant me a perfect end in your holy presence, O Lord. Amen. St. Benedict of Nursia, pray for us. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining me for the Chaplet of St. Benedict. Feel free to pray this any day. Hope you all have a blessed day. God bless.